Hey everyone, Kyo here. Today I want to compare the jelly scrolling effect on these three tablets. This is the iPad 2021, iPad mini 2021, and this is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. Let me start by saying that all displays will have the jelly scrolling effect to some degree. Some will be more obvious, but some will not be noticeable. So for example, I have an iPad Pro as well, but on that tablet, I wasn't able to notice any jelly scrolling effect, which is why I don't have that tablet here for comparison. So let's compare these two first. By the way, if you happen to have this iPad mini and you are not able to see the jelly scrolling effect, it could mean your tablet does not have the issue, or it could mean your tablet has the issue but you are not able to see it, just like how some people are not able to see the chatter on displays that are running at 60 hertz. It's only until you compare this tablet side by side to another tablet only then can you see the difference. And if you are not able to see the jelly or scrolling effect, my recommendation is not to go look for that behavior specifically because you cannot see it. So it doesn't affect you in the first place. So don't go looking for it because once you see it, you will not be able to unsee it. All right, let's compare the iPad with the iPad mini. I'm going to scroll these two displays together and then I'm going to scroll them one after another. So let's scroll the iPad mini. Here I can see the jelly scrolling effect. And this is the iPad 9. The horizontal lines are perfectly horizontal. And now I have these two tablets in horizontal orientation. This, by the way, is the speed that I use to scroll web pages. And now I can actually see the jelly scrolling effect on the iPad. So let me scroll this and this. So now there is no jelly scrolling effect on the iPad mini, but there is the effect on the iPad. For some reason, the jelly scrolling effect is actually more obvious when the tablet is in vertical orientation. Yep. I mean, in real life, I can see the effect more obviously when I'm scrolling in vertical orientation on the iPad mini. And now let's compare the iPad mini to the Tab S7 Plus, which has an OLED display with a refresh rate of 120 hertz. So I can see the jelly effect as well. Actually, I can see the jelly effect on all the Samsung tablets that I have used before. Tab S3, S4, S5e, Tab S6, and Tab S7 Plus. I've been reading online forums and people are saying that it's due to the 60 hertz refresh rate, which is why you can see the jelly scroll. But it's not true because it's here as well. And this is 120 hertz refresh rate. I don't see this on the iPad Pro though, which also has 120 hertz. The main difference here between the Samsung tablet and the iPad mini is because this has higher refresh rate, the jelly scroll is actually smoother. I mean, the animation of the jelly scroll is actually smoother. And for some reason, the jelly scroll on this iPad mini is more obvious compared to the Samsung. You can definitely see the slanting lines are more obviously on this. So is this issue caused by software or hardware? Well, I'm not too sure. Anyway, here I have the iPad mini connected to an external display. So I'm going to scroll again and you can compare these two side by side to see whether or not the external display actually has any jelly scrolling effect. And from what I can see, the display looks all right. But for the iPad mini, I can see the wobble. I just came back from the Apple store a few hours ago and all the iPad minis on display have this behavior. So chances are, even if you get a replacement, you are going to get an iPad mini that behaves just the same. 
The thing is, Apple has made millions of iPads, iPad Minis, iPad Airs before the release of this and all those iPads, they don't have this vertical scrolling issue. I mean, when you scroll horizontally on those other iPads, the effect is not that obvious, but on this iPad Mini, it's very obvious, which is the reason why I think this um, issue is being blown up to such proportion. If Apple can fix this with a software fix, that would be amazing. Personally, I am not that fussy about the 60 hertz refresh rate, but for the jelly scroll, um, this is in my face all the time.